In this video, we're gonna be making a bullseye, which is very similar to the Target logo. And I'm gonna use a pretty cool little trick in Adobe Illustrator that you may or may not have heard of in the appearance panel called Offset Path. So let's hop into Illustrator and get started. We've got a new document opened here and the size actually doesn't matter because I'm not even gonna use the artboard. We're gonna build this over in the blank space. We're gonna start with an ellipse and I'm actually gonna make a circle. The shortcut key for this tool is L and I'm gonna hold shift and click and drag to make a circle. Doesn't really matter what size your circle is. Uh, just use relative pixel dimensions as we <laughs> move along in the tutorial. All right, so we've got a circle here. Um, I'm gonna change the stroke and the fill. We're gonna just get rid of the stroke completely. And then the fill, I'm gonna double click on the swatch to open up my favorite little color picker and select a red, somewhere not too saturated in the muted tones right in here. I'm gonna hit okay and that's the red we're gonna use. I do want this to be a global swatch so I can change it later. It's gonna make it easier for me. So any colors you add to this, make sure you create global swatches out of them. And you're gonna do that by opening up this little swatches dialog and clicking on the new swatch icon uh, when you have this color selected. It's gonna ask you to add a new swatch and in the color mode RGB is the one I wanna be in and I definitely wanna make sure that global is checkmarked. Once I've got that check marked, I'm just gonna hit okay and now I've got that swatch right in here. I'm actually gonna add another one and I accidentally changed my circle but that's okay, we'll go back. I'm gonna add a white global swatch, although you don't necessarily need to have that, but if you are doing a secondary color, uh, you might wanna make sure they're both global swatches. You'll see why here very soon. So the first thing we wanna do here is open up the appearance panel. Go up to the window drop down, down to appearance. Now we wanna just fill in the first stroke, and I'm gonna fill this in with white and just alternate white, red, white, red. So this stroke, I'm gonna make maybe 50 points and see what that looks like. We made our circle a little bit bigger in this tutorial, so let's do 100 points. I'm also gonna click on the stroke label. That's gonna open up my stroke options. I'm gonna click uh, align stroke to the outside. So now I've got this stroke around the outside of my circle. I actually want this stroke to be that white global swatch that we created a second ago. Now that I have that created, I wanna make another stroke and that's gonna be with the add new stroke button. So we created another stroke here. I want this one to be red. It's sitting on top of my white stroke. So we need to make that offset a little bit. We can actually go down here to the FX button go down to path and then offset path. And we can determine how far we offset that path. I can also preview the option, which is really nice. So we can offset it by 100 pixels since that's the size of our other stroke. Hit tab to kind of preview that. And it offset it just enough to be outside of the white stroke. Hit okay and you can see kind of where this is going. We're gonna make another stroke in here. This one we're gonna switch to white. We're gonna go to FX offset path and make this one 200 instead of 100. That's gonna bump it out even further. Let's add one more red stroke to this. So new stroke, go to red, and then make sure we offset that path. Each of these strokes is 100 points set to the outside, similar to the first stroke that we made. And we're gonna just keep offsetting them more and more. So this one's gonna be 300 preview. Yep, that's perfect. Hit okay. and. We're gonna add one more, I think, to the outside of this, like a little outside ring. This one, I'm not gonna make 100. I'm gonna make it more like maybe 20. And then I still need to go to that offset path and add the maybe, f are we at 400 now? I can't remember, preview, yes we are. Hit okay, so that gives it a little ring around the outside of our bullseye. Now if you'll notice when I twirl down each of these strokes, offset path is applied to that stroke. So each of the strokes has an effect applied to it called offset path and that's what bumps that stroke out further and further. So we basically stacked all these strokes on top of each other. What we could do now is if we click off of our shape and we look at the properties panel, there's scale corners and scale strokes and effects. This is also available under window down to should be transform and I believe Yes, yeah, scale corners, scale strokes, and effects is also there. Uh, so if we have a shape selected, we can determine whether or not that shape scales corners or strokes and effects. The reason I'm showing you this is because right now I have it 
checked off, which means when I resize this and I hold shift to make sure it stays a circle, hold shift and alt to resize it right in the center there, it's going to resize the center circle, but not all the strokes. Now, if I did the same thing, but had scale strokes and effects checked on, it'll resize this whole element and keep it basically in proportion with itself. I show you this because we made the center too big in my opinion. So I'm gonna turn that off and resize it a little bit, holding option or alt on a PC and shift. And we're just gonna size that down maybe to this. I like that size a lot better. So now it really looks like we have the target, um, the target logo. Now, if you want it to be transparent, you don't actually want white there. Uh, what you could do is at this point, you could just hide all of those white strokes and you actually have to click on your shape there. So click on your shape and then hide all of the white strokes. And so now you have a transparent bullseye where it's see-through everywhere that we just had the white. You also don't have to add those white strokes. You can just bump that offset path out a little bit more so you have transparency, you don't even need the white strokes. I just wanted to show you how you can quickly turn them on and off. So that's it, that's how you create a neat bullseye uh, in Adobe Illustrator using a cool offset path uh, stroke method. So that's kind of a different technique than what I've shown. I've actually shown it in my outline, editable outline text tutorial. Um, similar, similar concept, but there's definitely things that you can utilize here. And the one key thing is when you add more strokes to your object, you can add effects to those strokes or to those fills, which means you can go really wild and crazy with the different effects that you do. And you can create some pretty unique shapes here in Illustrator without having to add a bunch of crazy layers or lots of shapes overlapping on top of each other. I'm Spencer from Pixel and Bracket, and I'll see you guys in the next one.